A plane carrying precious cargo is flying in restricted airspace. Then all of a sudden, another airplane connects with it in midair. Soldiers board the vessel by blowing out the back door and hijacking the plane, scaring all the good guys on board. As horrendous as this seems, this is just another regular day of the week in the city of Gotham, the world's league-leading city and crime rates. The last line of defense against the worst scum of the universe is the Dark Knight. Batman is a stand-up guy and leads by example. When he's not fighting crime, he enjoys donating his resources to the orphans of the city and being the hero Gotham deserves. Unfortunately, although he's the hero Gotham deserves, Batman isn't the one it needs right now, which is one of the main reasons he's considered a menace in his own hometown. The police don't appreciate his vigilante escapades and have him labeled as a menace. A thug who showed his true nature when he betrayed the trust of this great man. I'm not a Batman hater. But we don't need an unsupervised adult man karate chopping poor people in a Halloween costume. To rid himself of the bad publicity, Bruce Wayne goes on a PR campaign and the paparazzi has a ball. Speaking of ball, Bruce Wayne attends one and that's where he finds the potential love of his life. He falls for the chick at the gala and along with being drop dead gorgeous, she's skilled in martial arts so her and Bruce Wayne are compatible on both a spiritual and physical level. However, the main difference between them is their bank account balances. The rich people of Gotham tend to act very stuck up and that could be a turn off. They spend most of their days at rich people parties and eat lobster for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, which make them hard to relate to on any level. To stay grounded, Bruce takes a Gotham City orphan under his wing and trains him as a sidekick. He'll definitely need the help because all hell breaks loose after the bad guys step into the picture, and this isn't a job a Lone Ranger could solve alone. The menace in the movie gathers an army full of criminals after he dismisses them from incarceration. In a wacky turn of events, after the criminals are set free, Batman is taken into custody and is sentenced to cold hard time by behind bars for his adventures as a vigilante. The bad guy discovers Batman's secrets. He steals all of Batman's gadgets, weapons, and vehicles to terrorize the city. After Batman is released from prison, he joins forces with the orphan sidekick, the commissioner, his anti-hero love interest, and his old employee to save Gotham. Since his teammates lack experience in fighting crime, Batman leads by example and also teaches them as they go. Start it. Okay. When the battle begins, the city is a war zone. Even though the events only take place in Gotham, the entire world watches the nationally televised terrorist attack, and the people on the news leave Gotham City hanging when it needs a helping hand the most. Bane is knocking people out left and right, and it gets pretty apocalyptic. Your city is under attack by Gotham's greatest criminal minds, including Bane. Hello! Gotham literally gets split in two. Batman hops into his custom-made aircraft and the henchmen are on his tail. They use heat-seeking tech to destroy him, but Batman uses maneuvering capabilities similar to the ones used in Top Gun to get away. The tables turn in the hero's favor, and just when it looks like Batman and his sidekicks are about to save the day, Batman goes rogue to keep all the vigilante credit for himself. He sets his jet to autopilot to save Gotham on his own. Autopilot. The world is saved and the city rejoices. Batman overcomes his trust issues and reveals his identity to one of his teammates. And he also gives Robin the access code to the Batcave. What is the password? Iron Man sucks! At the end, him and his new friends go out to dinner and Bruce picks up the check since he's the richest person at the table. Those are 24 reasons these movies are the same. You agree? Yes, no, maybe so? If not, politely share your thoughts in the comment section below and click the subscribe button for more 24 reason videos. <gasps>